Fellow Guyanese, good afternoon. Today marks two years since I was sworn into office as President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. I remain humbled by the confidence the Guyanese people placed in me to serve you. As your chief servant, I've been blessed to lead a government with a team that has dedicated their energies to the upliftment and development of our country. Together we have a lot to do. Together we have already accomplished a lot. Together we have overcome many challenges. The mere fact that I sit before you today is as a result of the collective will of the Guyanese people, not to allow a few to derail democracy, rob you of your rights, rob you of your fundamental right in placing that vote. It is the collective efforts of so many Guyanese from different walks of life with the help of the international community and those who love democracy, love the rule of law and love freedom that has allowed us this opportunity to serve you. As your chief servant, I continue to dedicate my energies and my life in service to you and for you. Indeed, I'm grateful for the supporters of the party who took the step to vote for me in those 2020 elections. Your vote of confidence in me and the PPP was not for yourselves, but was for the betterment of Guyana. And your vote of confidence in me and the PPP was a vote to give Guyana the best possible leadership. And I'm faithful to that confidence. And I hope and I pray that I'm not disappointing you, nor the government I lead is disappointing you, in using that confidence to serve all of Guyana, in building one Guyana in which prosperity can come to every home. We are working continuously. There are many challenges, but there are also tremendous opportunities in agriculture, tourism, infrastructure development, human resource transformation, energy, every single area that we promise to work on in our manifesto we have been delivering. We are surpassing Many targets already in the manifesto. Our housing program, our water development program, our job creation program have all accelerated development in this country. And whilst we're delivering on every single front, whilst we're making life easier, whilst we're building a healthcare system second to none, an education system in which our children can have the best possible access to education. Whilst we're doing all of this, whilst we're changing the physical outlook of our country, whilst we're changing the way our country is viewed, there is a bigger task. And that task requires all of us as Guyanese. We have to change ourselves inside. We can't only be beautiful as a country outside. We, the people, we, the citizens of this country, must also change ourselves inside so that we can develop the best possible traits, the best possible character that can take our country forward, that can build each other as brothers and sisters, that can allow us to have respect for the environment in which we live, that will allow us to do what is right and what is good for our country that would allow us to be true patriots. So on this second anniversary, I thank you sincerely for your continued support. I reaffirm my pledge and commitment to all Guyanese 
that I'm going to work hard and diligently to the upliftment and forward movement of you and your family. As I speak to you today, we're delivering back on our promise of the cash grant to children going back to school, the uniform allowance, increasing the pension for all age pensioners, giving them best health, better health care. But at the same time, we are committed to advancing the cause of our public servant having the best possible package that includes welfare. There is still much more to be done and much more will be done. Together, we are on this journey, a journey that will uplift all of us, a journey that will take us to a prosperous future. Again, I thank you all for your love and your support, for your commitment, and to the team that has been supporting me, the cabinet, the technicians, the public servants, those in the medical field, all our engineers, every single Guyanese in agriculture, we withstood so many challenges in two years. Threat to democracy, the COVID-19 pandemic. Important that we were together in overcoming these challenges. The floods, heavy rainfall. But we shine. We shine together. We show our best when we support each other. So let us continue to stick together, work together, embrace each other and lift Guyana to new heights. Thank you and God bless you.